Hello everyone and welcome to this webinar about AM automation using Cypress and visual comparison tools with me, Federico Mazandrea. I joined Eccentric back in 2018. I am currently working as a QA engineer for the Read Exhibition project and I am a huge basketball fan. So a little bit of background here. At the last summit, the 2019 edition, we did a great brainstorming session between the QA community and realized that we needed to reduce the time spent on regression tests. That will help us to be more confident with our releases to production and to use that save time to increase the quality of our deliveries. There were a number of options in the table as we saw it also as a chance to innovate. Selecting what to automate and how to do it is not an easy task and we consider several well-known frameworks for that. At the end, I went back for Cypress because it was fast, because it comes by default with the option to record videos of the text executions, and with that, it's easy for non-technical people to help if there are any issues. Even more, if we add visual tests on top of that. Cypress is a trendy JavaScript end-to-end -end testing framework as you can see on the graph at the right, we had a huge amount of loan loans of the last year, making it one of the best alternatives in the market. It has a special set of features that we thought were helpful to us as a chance to see what is happening in the browser at each step of our test, who there are messages when things are failing and it's not clear why, automatic waiting, and as I said earlier, screenshot and videos recorded by default. Let's see it in action. I'm going to stop the video right here. So what we're doing here is just a simple login to author. Uh, first we're trying with invalid credentials and then we're going to try with the correct credentials. So this is the test runner that Cypress has. You can see here that it has two tests that they run in three seconds. Here you have the option to rerun them directly from the runner. This option here is a selector. So if you are uncertain of how to interact with a specific item on the page, you can use a selector and it will give you an option on what selector you can use. You can write your own selectors. And here you have the size of the screen you are doing. You can resize it in with, a, with, a, with a command. And on the left side, we have the log panel. Here we can see, as, as mentioned earlier, uh, uh, we have the option to see on each step that the test is doing what was the exact, um, I'm going to play the video again, what was the exact uh, look of the web page when we did that step. So now we're going to write username and we can see that it's going to click on that field and write it. And we are looking to uh, the assertion is to look that we have the error message there. On the next test, with the one with valid credentials, we are asserting that we get to the home page by looking for Adobe Experience Manager. Just as I was mentioning, the um, Cypress has their, their own commands. Uh, they all start with CI, and we have CI visit to navigate to our URL. We got CI get to get any selector that we want to interact with, and then we can chain actions to them, like in this case, type or click. We can also chain assertions from uh, Chai, But what if we need to repeat the login test for every other test that we have to do? We need to be logged in for every other test that, that we have. We're going to take 
three seconds for every test. Well, half, not half, half, right? Because we have the two, two options. We're going to take at least a second to do the, the, the login for every step. And we're going to go through the UI and it may be broken. We don't want another test, one in, in test testing another thing to fail because the login is failing. So with that, we can use a command to log in with a POST command. We know that when we are logging into the AM, we're sending uh, the password and, and our user to the server behind it. So we can interact with it directly with a command. In this example, I'm going to create a new page and then I'm going to delete that page using the UI like I'm doing now and navigating through every click that I have to do. And then the other test, the third and the fourth test, are going to do the same with an HS request. So doing uh, the command with the post that I mentioned on the previous slide. So the, these tests, these four tests, are taking 17 seconds to complete. But if we look carefully to each one of them, it's actually that the two first tests take 14 seconds to complete, and the last two only four. So we can reduce a lot of time doing uh, directly with the Ajax request. I recommend to have a normal test navigating the UI to check that everything is working fine. But then if you can save time doing directly the HS request for things that you have already tested, let's do it. Another thing that we added to our Cypress test is visual validation. We can use, in this example, I'm going to use Applitools, but you can use Percy or any other vendor that has uh, visual validation and they offer that. In this case, what we are doing is we're simply navigating to one of the retail pages that uh, we have by default on our local when we install a clean instance of AM. So this on the left, we have the original image. I was I went to the page and uh, Applitools, what it does, it takes a screenshot of the page. And when you run it the same test again, it will take a second screenshot and then it will compare the screenshot uh, that is taken now to the one that uh, take the, took the day before. In this case, uh, to make it fail, I purposely removed the feature product uh, from the page and it authorized it and I removed the, or the header and menus. So that's why it's getting all these pink um, messages here saying, hey, your images are not longer equal. With this, we can have a lot of tests on pages instead of having a set of assertions for every uh, CSS rules, for every button we have or for every component we have, we can have, the, we can have the test run faster if we have all these visual validations that we can check that no page that we have gets broken uh, with, a, with a release. This is also something that everyone in the team, you know, they don't need to be technical to use Sapitos to see, hey, the images are not uh, related, there's something happening here. Um, if this is something that the author did that, uh, on, on purpose, so yes, we don't want the feature products here anymore, this is now the image that we want, then you can simply click here on the thumbs up and you can say to Applitools, this is a new baseline. I want tomorrow or whatever we run the next test to check against these images. There is a lot of documentation on Cypress, on Applitools, on Percy, uh, in, the, in their own sites. I'm free to contact if you want to talk about, uh, with me about this, these things. And that's all. Thank you all for your time and see you around.